All right, so we are going to now look at making some bacterial smears so that we can get them ready to stain in order to view them underneath the microscope. Bacteria, when we grow it on the plate, it may have a type of color to it, like you can see here, that you can tell that it's growing on the plate. But if we were to directly take this onto a slide, it would be very difficult to see the structures. So staining allows us to be able to look at those. So we can look at the morphology of the bacteria. We can also use the stains when we talk about more of the complex stains, what we call differential stains, to see differences between bacteria based on the types of cell walls that are present. So staining can be a really helpful tool in the lab. But before we actually stain, we're gonna have to create some bacterial smears. We wanna make sure that the bacteria is smeared across the slide so that it's not just clumped, which makes it very hard to see. All right, so we're gonna create some smears here. So you're gonna notice that I have three slides out because we're gonna do three types of stains in the next video. So I wanna make sure that I make smears for all three. I'm gonna take a slide. I wanna make sure that it's a clean slide. I just took this directly out of a new slide container. If the slide has fingerprints or anything on that, you can clean it with lens cleaner and getting it all clean and ready for it to potentially be um, smeared. So what we're gonna do is we've got to first be able to use water. Okay, because we want to put water on here and we want to spread it out because again, when we're using it directly off of a plate, it would clump up too much. So we want to use a drop of water. Now, we're not just using tap water here. We want to make sure that we use our sterile water. Okay, and so I have here a sterile water. Okay, so remember this is distilled water that has gone through the autoclave and it's sterilized. I also have my inoculating loop. Now, remember, we have to go through the process of our aseptic transfers and techniques. We've got to make sure that this is sterile. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it into the incinerator. We're going to allow it to get red and then we're going to let it cool. Now this is to make sure that nothing is on this as we get ready to transfer our water. Okay, so when we get ready to transfer the water. Now remember, we've got to let this cool, not by waving it around, not by laying it down. We could potentially put it right here by our um, incinerator. It has little holes to hold it, um, but we also don't want to put it into the auger, okay, because contamination could still occur. So we're going to let this cool off. Once this is cooled, we're then going to take our sterile water, okay? So we're going to go through that process. Now, we're only adding a little bit of water on here because if we add too much water, it takes too long for this to dry. The whole point here is that we have to make sure that these air dry before we actually heat fix them. And so because of that, the longer or the more water you use, the longer you have to wait, okay? So I'm gonna take this, I'm going to open it up, okay? So that I have my sterile water, I'm gonna stick my inoculating loop in, and I'm just gonna loop a little bit of water. I'm gonna then tap it on my slide, okay? So where I get the water off, okay? Now, but then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sterilize our loop. Even though we just use water, we still want to make sure that we are not contaminating things. All right, so I sterilized my loop, and then now I'm going to collect my bacteria. In this particular case, we're going to use E. coli on all three of these. All right, um, it's the bacteria that I have available right now, and so we're going to use it on all three, and we're going to stain it, okay, in these different ways. So again, we're going to allow this to cool. We're then going to collect a little bit of the E. coli. All right, and so I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna collect a little bit. I don't have to collect very much, okay? And you can see there's a little bit on my loop. And then I'm gonna rub it into the water and I'm gonna spread it out, all right? So I'm gonna spread it across the slide, creating a type of smear, okay? Now when I'm done, I did have E. coli on this, so I need to make sure that I sterilize. So I sterilize my loop and I put it down. Now, if we'll look at this, you can actually see, okay, on here that the bacteria is smeared. See how it kind of looks cloudy on here? Okay, it's smeared on here, but it's still wet, and so I have to allow it to air dry. All right, so we've created some bacterial smears here, um, and we are, we're letting them air dry. So the first one that I created, um, we can see that it is air dry. You can see that it's a little bit cloudy on here. What I'm gonna do next is we need to heat fix the bacteria to the slide. That way, 
when we go through the process of staining and rinsing and stuff, the bacteria doesn't just wash off. All right, so we wanna make sure that we heat fix it. So we're gonna do this by placing our clothespin on here, okay? We're gonna take our slide with the bacteria facing myself, and I'm going to then place it onto the incinerator here. And I'm gonna let it heat for about 10 seconds. Now, the reason we wanna do this, again, is to make sure that we get that bacteria stuck to the slide, all right? And another reason we wanna make sure that it is air dried first is we don't want this heat to distort the shapes of the bacteria, the morphology of the bacteria. So we've got to make sure that we go through that process. Now, once we have heat fixed it, now remember, we are getting it hot here and glass does not glow like we see with the metal. And so we need to be careful because the glass will be hot and we're gonna let it cool off before we actually do the staining, All right? And so we're gonna lay it down, we're gonna let it cool. Now the next one, again, I finished up this one. It has air dried and I'm going to again, take that and I'm going to heat fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna heat fix it up here and again for about 10 seconds. Again, the whole point is to help hold and fix the bacteria to the slide. So this is the procedure we're talking about for the actual creation of the slide with the bacterial smear and then the heat fixing. Once we have done those steps, we are gonna now be ready to stain. Whether we use a simple stain or we use a more complex or differential stain, that's going to be what we'll talk about next. Again, if you have any questions or any kind of concerns about setting up a bacterial smear or heat fixing, please let me know.